Hey guys, in this video I'd like to introduce you to a new version of ATX RESPI. This is ATX RESPI R2 and it comes with surface mount components and a major refactoring over the previous version. Functionally it works the same but it uses a MOSFET to drive current from the input to the output side instead of a relay. So it's a more simple and elegant solution, also a lot less bulky than the first revision. In its basic form, ATX RESPI R2 comes with a micro USB connector for 5V power input and a set of straight or 90 degree headers as output. As before, there is also a power input header. However, there is now the option to have a 2.1mm barrel jack as input and a USB type A female connector as output, which could be either through hole or surface mount as well. You can now use a micro USB cable to power your Pi through its USB connector, which passes current through the onboard fuse on the Pi, even though I don't really see a concern with powering it through the GPIO header. For those that are really concerned, they can add their own poly fuse directly on the ATX rest by itself by cutting this trace and soldering a through hole or surface mount fuse. Other features are onboard LEDs that help visualize the signals between ATX rest by and Raspberry Pi. Also, you have the ability to solder a tactile button and status LED directly on the PCB. There are now two 5V outputs and three common grounds available on the output header. The dimensions and mounting holes are the same as the previous version. To recap, the main idea behind ATX RASPI is to cut off power gracefully without having to log into the Pi in order to issue a sudo halt command. So you can hook up a power button to issue a halt command for you. So let me shut down the Pi using ATX RASPI to demonstrate how it works. You have to hold down the button for a few seconds and ATX RASPI will issue a halt command and then the Pi will begin a shutdown sequence. When it's done shutting down, it will signal back to ATX RASPI which will pulse the LED faster and wait a few more seconds and then finally cut off power to the Pi. ATX RASPI R2 will be available in the Low Power Lab store. Thanks for watching and feel free to submit feedback and feature requests for future revisions.